<laughs> All right, so we made it. We are in line at the autograph place to get my sister an autograph of Johnny Manziel. I will not be waiting in line. Mrs. Brody's Comics will be doing that. <laughs> Did you see a Steeler or what? Oh, you thought that Reggie White was a Steeler, didn't you? Yeah. I just saw the black and yellow. Oh, gosh, man. I'm all in your way. I'm sorry. Some dollar comics. Somebody like the whole. All right, so so far all we had is supplies, which is really needed. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look, it's only six dollars and twenty-five cents. That's really cool, though. It's got all their rings and everything. Where's the Cowboys one? Oh, here it is. How many rings are there? Uh, five. How many rings are on the other I think the, I think there's like three over there. Uh, yeah. The Steelers, they have three rings, right? Yeah, see, one, two, three. <laughs> 20 for Troy. How much did you bring? 19? Oh, that one's better. Yeah, I like this one better. What about this other one, brother? The other Palomalu? Well, you need to burn these IU shorts right here. She's looking at this one. Yeah, we're, we're, doing, both, we're doing both 35 bucks. Hey, uh, so what happened to, I ain't gonna buy anything. I'm just here to stand in line. <laughs> you spent more than I did already. <laughs> no, that's not true. I spent 39. Oh, you spent 35. All right, four more bucks. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. He's all by himself. It's like a little Tony Romo. <laughs> a fat head Tony Romo. That's you got? Don't, don't you have that JG one? Yeah, I believe so. Is there anything on the back? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. Those are cool. Yeah, I like those too. Nobody I would want, but. I stepped in it anyway. <laughs> wow. Oh, look, babe. Oh, there's Ben. Pines Ward. Is it a good shape or is it messed up? How much yeah. for the Jerome? Which one? Jerome Bettis. The oh. How much is it? 25. All that vintage stuff. Oh, look, Oilers. Got some vintage sets here. They just get older and older. 50s. 61. Damn. Commons, $3. That's cool. Hi. Hi.
Is that Chewbacca over there? The back of Chewbacca? Well, we finally found some deals. <laughs> We're digging through the baseball cards. That is cool. What was that? Did you fart? <laughs> oh. All right, hey fellas. Uh, so we got back from the. Look, it's a lady. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. And fellas, um, got back from the card show in Houston, Texas. And uh, wanted to share some of the stuff we got. Uh, the first thing I'd like to share is we finally got around to the ten for a dollar or you know three for a dollar boxes and dug through them for seems like forever. <laughs> but we uh, ended up with a pretty decent deal um, that I wanted to share. So this is a stack of fifty cards that I was able to commandeer for $10. Um, I asked the guy if he'd take five, but he kind of balked at that because he said the top loaders are probably worth more than that. And I agree with him. There's 50 top loaders in there, really good condition. So I basically got the cards for free, I think so. Uh, and what they are is they're, they're commons, but they're all tops finest uh, from that one set. So I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, I'm, I'll have them up on the um, tcdb.com later, uh, maybe today, I don't know, um, with for trade. Um, so I keep saying um, it's kind of aggravating me. All right, the second thing we got is we went by and found another 10 for a dollar uh, guy. And get these all together here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so these were ten for a dollar, so ten cents each. First one I got is Colt McCoy rookie card. Colt McCoy is the guy from Texas, played at UT. Uh, I believe he played his high school in, uh, I can't remember exactly, somewhere in Texas. Uh, but he's a... Texas guy, so I always kind of keep track of the Texas guy. This one uh, I threw in because my wife hates him, and I thought it would be funny. It's not funny. <laughs> it's a Joe Flacco rookie. It's a score. Joe Flaccid is who it is. 2008 score uh, Joe Flacco rookie. Yeah, okay. uh, here's another Topps Finest, uh, or another Colt, Colt McCoy Topps Finest rookie card. I got a Santonio Holmes uh, Topps rookie card. My wife is a Steelers fan, so I picked that up for her. <laughs> this card was right underneath the uh, Santonio Holmes, so I grabbed it. It's an Aaron Hernandez rookie. Uh, I, I'm well aware of uh, who he is and what he did. Uh, so, uh, again, I thought that one would be funny. Uh, these are three Steelers, Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, and Big Ben. I uh, got those for my wife. They're uh, Donruss Elite. 10 cents a piece. Not bad. They're very shiny. And a couple of score select, uh, or I'm sorry, select football rookies. Uh, a couple of no names, Jawan James and Marcus Smith. Looks like a lineman and a defensive guy, but again, never can pass up a select rookie for 10 cents. So that was our second deal of the thing. Then we, then I saw this card and uh, I had to buy it. If you can see. <laughs> His face is all messed up. I don't know if it's a double print or just, it looks like somebody like beat him up. Mm -hmm. So in comparison, I also got the other card, which uh, is, you know, what it's supposed to look like. These are pretty beat up condition, but these are cards from the sixties. It's a Walt Garrison rookie. He's a, he was a fan. I was a fan of his growing up. Uh, he played for the Dallas Cowboys, also known for his um, skull commercials in the eighties. Uh, yeah. The dip. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I, I just couldn't pass it up. The guy actually threw it in for free. I think he initially he wanted 50 cents for it. And I picked up a big old stack of other stuff. And he, I think he eventually threw it in for free. The other one from that set I got was the Craig Morton. 
which I don't think that's a rookie card, but it's a 60s Cowboys. So if I ever see the 60s Cowboys at a decent price, I always pick them up. Again, I'm not real concerned with the the uh, um, condition of these. They all have rounded corners and everything. They're I would say they're probably poor condition, but uh, it's you don't see those every day. That's a 60-year-old card there. So Garrison Morton and another Garrison. Then uh, I picked up this one. This is the... Um, that one's kind of hard to see because it's actually a clear card. This is from the uh, Chronicles, I believe. The um, Donruss, um, what do they call that? Uh, uh, clearly rated rookie or something like that. But it's a it's a basically it's a see through card of CD Lamb. I can't remember what I paid for that. I think it was three dollars for that one. So CD Lamb fan. Then I got a Zeke Elliott. Uh, Rookie from the draft picks, uh, his Ohio State uniform. That five dollars is not what I paid for it. I got a Korea Tops Tech rookie card, and then the Korea uh, Korea Bowman Chrome rookie. And picked this one up from my mom, Johnny Unitas. She was a big fan. <clears throat> I think that whole stack was ten dollars or twelve dollars, something like that. I can't remember. And the last card I got is a, uh, I got a J.D. Davis. I think that was in that original 50 card. Uh, it's the J.D. Davis Topps Heritage uh, rookie card, former Astro. I think he plays for the Red Sox now. I'm not sure. Other than that, we got, um, what else did we get? Oh, you want to show your stuff? Um, we got the Johnny Manziel autograph. Oh, yeah, we got to meet uh, Johnny Manziel. Got an autographed jersey for my sister. She's a fan of his. Um we're a fan as well. Uh, he played, uh, my nephew actually played against him here in South Texas um, when he was uh, at in high school at, at Kerrville Tyvee High School, the Antlers. Uh, and my nephew played him in a playoff game, which they lost. It was a cold night. It was the only, I watched, my nephew was on, on varsity for three years. I saw every single game that he played except for the one where he played Johnny Menzel. <laughs> so this is what mrs brody's comics got she picked up uh again she's a big steelers fan i don't know if i can see these or not it's a little too close uh we got a mcfarlane figure troy palomalu series 25 and then we got um series 14 palomalu in the black jersey and this is probably her favorite we kind of saw this one by accident and went ahead and picked it up uh, she's been looking for a Jerome Bettis as a Steeler but this is him in his rookie um, Rams uniform so big Jerome Bettis fan and she deserved it she's a good she's a good mom and wife I love doo, doo, let's get on the bus doo, doo, it's time to get on. <laughs> all, right. all right so other than those things we also bought uh, a bunch of supplies I was able to get some boxes I was able to get top loaders. I was able to get these nifty little uh, easel things to hold your cards on like that. And overall, it was a great time. Um, we had a lot of fun with it, and we cannot wait to go to ne our next one. So probably spent too much money, but like I said, it was a good uh, good afternoon, and we enjoyed it. So thank you guys for, for um, giving us your time and hanging out. We'll have more videos to come. See ya.